Hello everyone, welcome back to another Lumberyard video. In this video we'll be covering Speedtree. If some of you didn't know what Speedtree is, then Speedtree is basically a modelling software. You can model vegetation like trees, grass and bushes. Here's an example of what you can model. This is an example that Speedtree gives you when you install it. So you can customise it, uh, add textures, see all the great detail here. So I'm going to be doing uh, three videos throughout the series on Speedtree. So I'll be covering how to install Speedtree as that can actually be quite difficult and people have contacted us asking for help about this so we decided to do a video on it. Um, we, um, we're also going to be showing you how to model a tree and then in the last video we're going to be showing you how to texture it and export it into Lumberyard. Some of you may be wondering how do you actually install Speedtree? Well, that's a good question. So to do that, uh, head over to your web browser and navigate to speedtree.com. Once you do that, it will load up with a similar page like this. To install Speedtree, hover over Software and click on Software for Lumberyard. Uh, speed, sorry, Speedtree for Lumberyard. However, if you want to use it for UE4, Cinema, Games, or for Unity, then click on that. Um, if you're using CryEngine, then uh, I recommend using the 4 games uh, version. But because this is a Lumberyard uh, series, we'll be using Speedtree for Lumberyard. Speedtree costs nothing. You do not have to pay a penny for it. Um, as you see here, uh, when I go uh, click on Activate Now, which you will have to do, it will uh, open a page like this. As you can see here, you have to pay nothing. You then want to click on Activate License, which will then add it to your cart up here. There we go. And you then want to click on checkout and just fill out your details. After you've done that, it will then uh, pop up with a little, a little link for you to click on, which will then download Speedtree. You then, it's very simple to install. You then want to just um, uh, install it. So yeah, I've already done it, so um, I can't do it again because it recognizes that you've got like already one install on the computer. So yeah. So uh, pause the video here and install it and come back when you are done. Welcome back. Yeah, you've installed Speedtree, hopefully. If you haven't, then just uh, drop us a, uh, a notification in the comments and we will get back to you to help you fix the problem. So one, when you open Speedtree, it will open with a little box like this. So just for the example, just for like the first part, I was just be showing you how like how Speedtree works and all of that, so I'll just be clicking on the example here. But in the next video, I'll be showing you actually how you make your own tree like this. So as you can see here, uh, Speedtree actually um, looks very realistic like this. So the main thing where you see your tree is called the perspective. Uh, as you can see here, you've got the generation on your uh, on the left hand side, which shows you how your tree is actually put together. Uh, we will be going into more detail about this in the second video where we will be actually modeling a tree. So as you can see, uh, it's got the basic tree with the trunk, the knots, the lumps, caps, all of this stuff which we'll be learning about in the uh, next uh, uh, video. On the right hand side we've got the texturing which textures the tree. Uh, yeah, and then you can add like uh, wind to it, enabled to see what the tree would look like when and there's wind. You can also add um, light to see what it would look like in different, uh, like daylight, you see what it looks like in different perspectives, uh, moonlight. So these, uh, these pre uh, scenes up here help you uh, see what the tree would look like when you import it into a game. You can add like forces, there's loads of stuff which we will be going into um, in our next video. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up and please do also consider subscribing as it really does help us. Please also consider joining our Patreon as it really uh, helps us to make better videos. Please also uh, do consider joining our Discord to either chat to us or uh, chat to the CoSpanner community. We are looking forward to seeing you again in our next video. Thank you.